everyone and welcome back to the beginning. Today we're going to be continuing on the main quest. We have a quest with Jasper so we're going to be heading back into Golden Hills Valley. So I think that's all I have to say. Let's go. <laughs> the brand new horse state machine came out this week when I'm filming it and I'm still getting used to how fast the horse moves. Like it goes so quickly to a gallop. It's kind of great. But I also struggle to hold, like I just click the button too much that suddenly I'm backing up. See, <laughs> I'm backing up. So I gotta, you know, like get rid of some bad habits of just like pressing the buttons really quickly. <laughs> Good morning, Jasper. Actually, it's afternoon right now for me. It's raining stones is the main quest. All the other ones here are side quests, which we will get to in the future. But for now, we're doing main quest today. Oh, my poor heart. Huh, Cassandra? I'm glad you came by. You should have been here yesterday. It was so peaceful and quiet and the birds were singing joyfully. All of a sudden, there was a loud rumbling and the whole ground started to shake. I thought it was very strange. Then all of a sudden, I heard a very loud noise and a huge boulder came crashing down from the mountain. Just imagine if I had been out for my morning walk. Cassandra, I could have been flattened like a pancake. It seems to have calmed down up there now, but what if it happens again? Can you ride up there behind my farm and try to find out what caused this? You will? Great. Come back if you find something. See you soon and please be careful. Oh, it's the purple stone quest. I forgot to turn my music on. Jasper, you could have told me that this is a suspicious looking boulder. Because that's not a normal looking boulder. I keep, okay, I know like I'm getting sidetracked again, but I keep like debating with myself over my thoughts of like the story quests these days. Because I just feel like every time a new one comes out, I guess I feel so like out of the loop. Because obviously, you know, it's been like, you know, it's a couple of months between each main story quest. But every single time I film back to the beginning, I still really enjoy doing the quest. And I still like enjoy and I'm intrigued by the new story quest to see like actually what is going on on Jorvik. And whether we're ever gonna like beat Garnik and things like that. So I don't know how I feel. <laughs> I don't, I, I enjoy it. I think it is written differently now. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, there's lots of stones. Okay, shiny stone. Okay, we just picked one up. These are very round looking rocks. They're definitely looking kind of supernatural. Definitely because of the roundness and not because they're sparkling purple. A gigantic pile of mysterious boulders in the mountains and you took a mysterious stone from the pile. Even more mysterious than the boulder that that rolled down onto the farm. Wow, that must be amazingly mysterious. I, okay, I was gonna say that's a lot of use of mysterious, but I think they did it purposefully. <laughs> this is very mysterious. I've never seen a stranger stone than this one. It has a kind of pink glow and is almost weightless. If I had known there were strange rocks like this, I would have come here and taken them a long time ago. You know what? Take this stone over to the witch, Pi, that lives in the swamp close to my farm. You know the one. She knows a lot about strange and unnatural things. Ask her if she knows what's going on. Jasper, you're in luck. I do know the witch. I helped her uh, not transfer from, uh, what's his name, Justin's horse <laughs> into a dark horse. Into the mysterious darkness. Whoa, taking these corners with the new state machine are actually kind of like, well, except for that time when I crashed. But because there's no delay when I click the button, I can take these corners like more corners more confidently because usually you kind of had to take into consideration the fact that there was a delay between your horse changing gates. Abracadabra, who goes there? Oh, it's only you, Cassandra. Oh my gosh, wait, her face is still green in the like little picture for the quest, but not in the game. There has been a rock slide in the mountains. I thought I heard something this morning. Glowing pink and feather light stones. You have one with you? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at that stone. Hmm, amazing. This stone is no ordinary stone. The pink color is due to the Pandoric material infused in the rock. What's special about it? Cassandra, stones like these don't exactly show up every day, and now you say that there is a whole pile of these stones up on the mountain? You are sure you aren't making this up, Cassandra. I really have to see it with my own eyes. 
Cassandra, I'll see you up by the gate. Hop on your horse and I'll fly up there on my broom. We'll meet at the rock pile. Not being able to fly is no excuse for being slow. <gasps> is this the moment? Oh my gosh, she's actually like on a broom. Is this the moment that we dance with Pi? In the rain? We do a rain dance? Am I remembering incorrectly? Let me just go into the swamp water to be teleported to the start. Oh my gosh, she's really set up shop here. Cauldron and everything. That took you a long time, Cassandra. You need to learn to fly. Once you learn, you realize it's on the only way to travel. I've had a chance to set up my portable witch laboratory here so we can analyze these stones a bit better. Well, while you were faffing around up the mountain, I did some experimenting on the stones and found something interesting. They are extremely light and dissolve in water. They just vanish. Poof. Just like that. So what we need to do is a good and old fashioned rain dance. If you dance with me, we should be able to dance up a considerable storm to rinse away the stones so we can see what's going on on the other side of the rock slide. Get off your horse and stand over there and I'll show you how it's done. Just do as I do and you'll see. Hmm, could you get Shadow Comet to dance with us? The more the merrier. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Do I have to get off Shadow? That's not his name, I can't remember his name. Look at us dancing. This isn't the rain dance music that I expected, but... Oh my gosh, it worked, you guys. Look at that, it's raining, but the sky is blue. <laughs> That's the only thing with weather in Star Stable is they don't really change the sky color. Sometimes they add like a cloud to kind of cover the sky, but I still feel like it's not the same. The rain, the rain, rain sound on the other hand is very pretty. Whoa, this looks weird. This doesn't look right. Whoa, it's like a liquid or maybe it's like a little wind. I don't know what's happening here. A shadow seeker here? This is very bad news, Cassandra. Oh dear. Shadow seekers in my backyard. Those are Pandora creatures you see, Cassandra. They shouldn't be in our world, as you should know by now. Have the druids not taught you anything? Hmm. There must be some kind of source or portal they are getting through. If you can find it, I will figure out a way to stop them. We cannot let the portal stay open or more and more shadow seekers will pour into Golden Hills Valley. They will catch you if, you, if they see you. I'm sure sure they can. You see, shadow seekers have very poor eyesight, but if you hide well enough, they won't be able to get to you. See those thorn bushes over there? That sounds perfect. Hide in the bushes and they won't be able to find you. Oh my gosh! <gasps> Whoa. That that looks like uh, the old Star Stable um, quest bubble. I dare not follow you in there. You have to continue on foot. Uh, I don't think I can get past that. Oh wait, no, I figured it out. You were hiding, the Shadow Seeker cannot see you. <gasps> Perfect. Whoa, this is kind of fun. It's coming back! Ah, it's gonna win, but... Oh my gosh, that's kind of scary. That's kind of scary. Okay, run, 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 run. Oh my gosh, where are we going? Oh, thorn bushes, thorn bushes. This would be painful though, like very spiky. Look how tall they are, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Let's keep going. Whoa! <gasps> Have we opened the Pandora cracks? Is that this quest? Oh dear. Am I hiding? Go, go, go. Hide, 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 hide! That's c literally kind of scary. Also, these Shadow Seekers look different to the Shadow Seekers that come in quests. I've only, like... That's what I've just been thinking this entire time. <laughs> these are not the Shadow Seekers that I am used to. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Am I almost there? I literally can't see anything because I have to hide in here. Go away, Shadow Seeker. I need to go that direction. Oh my, wait, what? Oh my gosh. What? <gasps> that looks sus. Okay, I'm not seeing any thorns, uh, thorn bushes, so I can't hide. Maybe I can just like run past that up here. Oh, yep. That's a big boy Pandoric Rift. That's a really big, wait, shortcut? Hello? Why Why the heck, like, is there just a sign up here that says shortcut? And it's, like, such a pretty sign just in amongst everything here. Like, I don't think these Pandoric textures have been updated yet, so they look, like, not as good as they could be in the future whenever Star Stable decides it's time to update them. Even though Pandoric cracks, like, I thought that I saw Star Stable say they updated them, but maybe not, but I feel like they could look better. Let's take the shortcut. 
Look at how pretty the sky is, though. Whoa, would you look at that? It's the area that I was trying to get up. That I was trying to, um... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, my... I'm okay. <laughs> a glowing rift in the ground? That must be where they are coming from. Cassandra, we have to close that rift and get rid of those terrible shadow creatures. A timed quest? I've only been filming for like 20 minutes. Ah, oh, that was so sure. That was such a sure little quest. All right, I've come back to Jasper to maybe do one of his quests just to end off this video. Hopefully it's a little quick one. So let's do the peaceful pumpkin farmer. Cassandra, welcome to East Glade's pumpkin farm. Finally, we get to see you again. I can't thank you enough for liberating me from all the hate and bitterness I carried around with me for 20 years and for nothing as it turns out. But now I finally get a chance to be happy. I can finally pursue my biggest dream, growing pumpkins. But I bet you wonder why I'm doing it here in Golden Hills Valley. You see, Cassandra, since you liberated me from my hatred, I no longer need to stand and guard my fence against my neighbor. Ne Hello? Neighbor? Who am I? Neighbor? <laughs> and that's thanks to you. Yes, this is my pumpkin farm. A bit run down and neglected, I'm afraid, as I haven't really been here for the last 20 years. Now that I'm back, I'm going to fix it up and start growing the best and tastiest pumpkins in Jorvik. There are a lot of exciting things to do here at my pumpkin farm. If you have time, I mean. But if you help me out, I'll have some time left over and can help you with the trailers in the area. Back and forth from the fishing village, for example. And it isn't just work. There's lots of fun stuff to do to do here too this is actually really interesting because yes when golden hills valley first came out you could only take a trailer with other red trailers so you could basically only go from the pumpkin farm to golden to the golden leaf stables and cape west fishing village and it, which you know when you think about it is kind of pointless because it's already such a small area but now they've since made it so you can travel anywhere just using all the trailers so this quest is slightly outdated but it doesn't scream like you know trailers in the area doesn't really say much <laughs> i have some exciting riding tracks that need to be rebottled and tested i'll also pay you a bit more than the usual pay for farm work how about that great you want to help me out a little i'm very pleased all right, let's do checking horse jumps. You know, we'll unlock another race on this account as if I trade. <laughs> the riding track around my pumpkin farm has deteriorated during the years I've been away. Can you have a look and see which fences are dangerous and need to be repaired or replaced? I've marked them on your map. Orange spots, so they're easy to find. This date, this quest is outdated. You guys know now that instead of orange spots, we've got those little yellow circles. Before, we just kind of had like a orange haze over the map. <laughs> Come back to me and let me know how it looks. Will do, Mr. Jasper. Apparently, this is a jump. Oh, I don't have to do anything. I just have to ride up to them. Another one over here. Let's jump over this one. Wee, wee, And the last jump up here. Okay, three of the horse jumps are broken. That makes sense. After all, I built those fences over 20 years ago. Okay, Jasper, I get it. It was 20 years. <laughs> Thinking that Justin would learn to jump here. Oh, wait, that's actually kind of sad. It didn't quite turn out that way. But now the riding track can come into use again by you and your friends. Jasper, I'm sorry. <laughs> We can fix the jumps, but we're going to need more wood. Maybe you've seen the four old dead trees around the house. Take the saw from the back porch, from the porch steps and cut down the four dead trees. Then drag them back here with your strong horse. Did you hear that, Shadow Comet? You're a strong horse. <gasps> chainsaw, chainsaw. I don't know why I went here. I thought I saw behind the house, but I... Anyways, the extra wood is actually over here. Oh, dead trees. Do I have to click and drag? I have to click and drag. I'm so happy. Oh, there's no animation. <gasps> That's an anime. Oh! oh my goodness. Okay, well, technically that would have, you know, pierced his stomach and also his head. But he's kind of like, okay, you got to be careful about that. That was really cool. I was going to say, okay, if you don't, if you want to go faster when your horse is carrying a load, just dismount and get on your horse again and you can go fast. Where am I taking it to, Jasper? 
I believe when we unlocked uh, Wildwoods, there was a chainsaw animation, maybe. Oopsies. I also keep accidentally rearing instead of dismounting because um, I accidentally pressed, like, the S key and it just, like, the transitions are so smooth now. So cool! Yay! Okay, there's one more tree... Why is it always, like, the small quest, which I have so much fun doing? Don't get me wrong, I'm really excited to, like, check out Pandoria. We're unlocking Pandoria, or, like, you know, um, we're unlocking one of the Soul Riders soon. We're gonna rescue another Soul Rider soon. That's really exciting. You know what? I love the Star Stable quests. They're still so nostalgic to me. <laughs> but there's something about just going to trees and cutting them down for Jasper that makes me happy. Not bad. You and your horse are really quite strong. Maybe you should be a lumberjack. Take the logs and fix the old horse jumps. With a bit of work and using part of the old jumps, they should soon be good as new again. You guys, we're actually really close to leveling up. I believe. Maybe I have to click and drag this on there. <gasps> That's so cool. And I don't even have to dismount. We're almost at level 14. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. Part of me kind of wants to do it all over again. <laughs> <laughs> like, I still have so many quests, and it's been literally two, three years. But, if you guys yourself are thinking of starting a new account, then I actually have a link in the description that you guys can use. It is a, an affiliate code, so I make a small little bit of money every single time someone makes an account through it. So, thank you, Star Stable. <laughs> okay, I'm actually gonna dismount for this one. Great, Cassandra. Now the jumps aren't dangerous anymore and they should work fine. Maybe it's time for a test run. Try out Jasper's old riding track. I built... Oh, stop it. Stop it. Why? Why are you making me sad, Jasper? Because Justin has currently betrayed us as well. I built it for Justin. At that time, I still hoped I would get to be a real grandfather. Oh, well. Now you and your friends can use it instead. Justin has disappeared. I wonder what happened to him. Try out my old riding track and see how the fixed up jumps work. Yay! It's Jasper, I feel bad. Oh my gosh, it's Western music here. I didn't even know. Let's go. Oh, uh, now I kind of feel like every single time I do this race, I kind of forgot that he built it for Justin. That was going to be really sweet. Oh, that's so cute. There we go. That looked pretty exciting. I have to admit, you really, you are really quite a good rider. Maybe this track is a bit too easy and short for someone like you, but I think it has potential. One thing I noticed whilst doing that is, you guys might know, but there used to be a thing where when you jumped, if you clicked X whilst jumping, you, your horse would go slowly and you could take a really sharp corner because of the new state machine that is removed. But one thing I noticed is because of the new state machine, I just like slowed down really quickly and then sped up and it kind of does the same thing. It's a little bit more, you know, we got to get used to it, get like the timing to a key. Is that the right saying for it? But at least there's still something which kind of works for taking sharp corners. All right, so I think that's going to be the end. Unfortunately, there is another one where you get to do Jasper's old riding track backwards. But I believe you have to do the rest of Jasper's quest for that one. So I think I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, we're going to be going back and exploring this Pandoric Rift. Hmm. On the screen right now is going to be the playlist for Back to the Beginning where you can go and catch up on any episodes that you might have missed. Otherwise, I love you guys and I will see you all very soon. Bye!